on a bit of a high after the photo shoot we were on our way to GLR radio. This was the first day that Jeff Rickle was out. Say he was excited to understate. You know, he had a lot to say really, and this was his first proper British interview. Unfortunately on this day there was really bad traffic due to a crash at Baker Street. So to pass away the time I said to Jeff, this isn't the programme that you're about to go and do. Um, and that was really a big mistake because as soon as we turned it on, the DJ was in front announcing Jeff's performance by mentioning him that she had Tim Buckley's son come into a session. He didn't even mention the word Jeff. Everything was Tim Buckley's son, Tim Buckley's son. Jeff eventually lost his rag and wearing those big black boots, kicked the radio, and the face of the radio literally split in two. And it was, it was shocking for me because this very quiet, introverted musician I got to know over the last few weeks, I suddenly saw a whole different side to him. And I didn't really understand the relationship with his dad and the complication of that. And we both went silent. As soon as we walked in, the producer said, ah, oh, so you've bothered to turn up. The irony of this was GLR had all these traffic reports talking about Baker Street. So they were known why we were late. So we walked in this very, very frosty atmosphere. And I saw them push the record button to tape the session. And Jeff was, I don't want it taped. I don't want to be here. And he wanted to walk out. Of course, it was only a bit of an artistic strop. <laughs> that Jeff Buckley uh, has managed to get here. A bit of a problem with traffic, I think, which I think everyone can identify um, who lives in London. Uh, Jeff has uh, just finished his first album, Live at Chenet, and uh, he joins me in the studio now. Hello. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, you're signed to... Uh, Jeff sat there almost sulking, and I still wasn't sure that he was on a play. Anyway, he answered the usual questions, very sort of tautly and without much grace. To use the pun, that's really nice. Yeah. I suppose the, uh, the, the way to do it is not to be afraid of the record company because I suppose if they say we want you to do this and you say no, there must be a certain amount of fear that you think, oh, they, they might ditch me. They have their opinions, but I'm the one that makes the work, so... Is that quite unusual, do you think? No, it shouldn't be unusual. But the people I'm with are pretty cool. I mean, I like them. I think you're very lucky. OK, what are you going to play for me? Um, a song.
city, so I really don't want to get into it. Hitchin. I think it was called The Sun. My parents lived quite close to Hitchin. 
And so I said to my mum and dad, you know, why don't you come? You can see this artist. I think he's amazing. He loved the idea of family and of closeness and of being nurtured.